all chasing the great Demetrius Johnson, but this man believes when all's said and done, he might go down as the greatest flyweight champion of all time. Tonight, a chance to join that elite class and realize his first UFC belt. Yeah, he's trying to become the champion of the division and has had some really good champions from Demetrius Johnson. Two Davis and Figueredo, to Brandon Moreno. The list of fantastic champions at flyweight is not very long, but he feels that he can stay at the top. All those guys by the time his career is done. But it all starts tonight. You gotta win in your first opportunity. And he did tell us this week he felt like the champion at times was ducking him, but the win streak became so long that there was no denying this title shot. Now we see what he can do with it. flyweight champion Alessandre Pantoja. Pro debut at 17 years of age in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Finally breaks through to win the undisputed UFC title at 33 years of age. He is as watchable and as well-rounded as any fighter in the sport. And in advance of his first title defense at our fighter meeting, he said, now the focus is getting my pound for pound due. I know I'm the best flyweight in the world. I'm out to prove that again tonight. But I want to show the masses that I could be the pound for pound king. And he might just be that guy. for this flyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kai! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Alejandro the Cannibal. Pantoja! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, early round action here featuring the American top team trained flyweight contender, Alessandre Pantoja. Injuries limited him to just one appearance in 2020, but now he is back in a more regular competing cycle, and the results really speak for themselves. This man poses danger everywhere. The danger factor particularly high on the ground when it comes to his submission game, but if you sleep on him on the feet, he'll put you to sleep. Just ask Matt Schnell. Great take down defense right now by the champ. And they separate. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. That's some power there. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run or hide, grab or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his 
first test out of the Oh, my goodness. Oh, right hand. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. for him, DC, and of course the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really Ready did hurt his opponent. Ready. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. So he's... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is so This is why you need to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Tags him with that uppercut. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of snow in there. You gotta address this now because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Nice, nicely done. Three minutes to go in round two. Right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strokes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well. Oh, how good is that? The double oh, heavy shots raining down. And how much more can he take? All right, well, he's got him softened up here. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Ground and pound strike there now. Another ground and pound strike lands. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Pantoja is now dealing with a cheek cut. Big ground and pound. He passes to half guard. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. A beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Pantoja. Oh, more attack. Yup. Oh, that looks tight to me. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Wow, that is 
Great submission defense. So the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight? Ready. Go Round three of a possible five. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to get the back. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, that'll do it. Holy smokes. No judges needed this time around. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 44 seconds of round number three. Declare the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Kai. All right, so how about this result tonight? This should shut up some of the flyweight naysayers, right? We got a new UFC flyweight champion, and he looked like one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world tonight. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and he has the charisma to make people care about the 125-pound division. Great job by this young man.